Hi, guys, welcome back to Hi Go Spot. If you've entered wrong passcode too many times on your iPhone, then it will be locked out and refuse to receive passcode anymore. In that case, you'll see an iPhone unavailable or security lockout alert on the lock screen, and you won't be able to have another attempt until several minutes or even an hour later. So in today's video, I'm going to show you four quick ways to unlock an unavailable or security lockout iPhone without using the screen passcode. And before we start, there's one thing you should know that, no matter which method you try, to remove the iPhone unavailable alert, we'll have to reset the locked device to factory settings so that you can regain the access to it. You can restore your data from a recent backup or download whatever you have from your iCloud. All right, in the first method, we're going to use your Apple ID and the password to erase your unavailable iPhone. It's very simple if your iPhone is running the iOS 15.2 or the later. So, keep your iPhone connected to the network. And when you have this iPhone unavailable, try again in 15 minutes on the lock screen right here, don't panic. At the bottom from here, you can see this Erase iPhone option if your iPhone has iOS 15.2 or the above. Alright, just tap it. Then the Erase All Content and Settings screen shows up. You should know the unlocking process will wipe all your data on the device. So, confirm the Erase iPhone option. You'll be asked to enter the password to your Apple ID. So here, we just input the password to log out of your Apple account. Then you'll see a progress bar on the black screen. It is erasing everything on it now. After the loading bar is complete, your iPhone will be totally unlocked. And you can set up your iPhone again when it restarts. So, if the erase iPhone option doesn't appear on the unavailable lock screen on your iPhone, then I'll show you another way to reach the Erase iPhone with your Apple ID and the password. That is to use the Find My option from your iCloud. And for this to work, your iPhone should have the Find My feature enabled. And as the same, your phone should be connected to the internet. Alright, now, use your iPad, Mac, or your old iPhone that is using the same Apple account with your unavailable iPhone. Then, open a browser and head to iCloud.com. As you can see, it's a login page here. So now, we're going to enter the Apple ID and the password that we used to set up the locked iPhone. And once in, we simply select the Find My option from here. Then a map will appear here. On this map, you can locate all your Find My enabled devices. So here at the top, select All Devices and choose the unavailable one that needs to be unlocked. Select it, and you'll find the Erase iPhone option right here. So that's how you can reach the Erase iPhone option from the Find My on iCloud.com. So now, select Erase iPhone and confirm. You may be asked to verify yourself. Follow the instructions on the screen to get the verification code. It may be sent to your other Apple devices. Once you got the code, enter it here, and your locked device will reset itself to the factory settings soon. As you see, just like our first method, the unavailable iPhone will get erased. It will restart when it's all finished. And you can set it up and create a new screen passcode after that. And also, in case you cannot reach the erase iPhone option, or you don't remember your Apple ID password either, there's alternative method that you can use to erase and reset your iPhone, the iPhone Unlocker. It removes the unavailable alert as well as the screen passcode on any locked iOS devices. You only need to connect your locked device with your computer and then let the unlocking process happen. So, before anything, we're going to download and install the iPhone Unlocker on the computer first. I'll put the download link below this video, you can click it to know more. Or you can also find it from appgeeker.com and get it from the product list. Alright, we just open it up. And here, select the white passcode, and start, very easy. Now, as it shows, we're going to connect the locked iPhone in its recovery mode. 
If you don't know what recovery mode is, don't worry. Just click here and follow the on-screen steps to place your device into recovery mode. For example, for iPhone 8 and the later, we just connect the iPhone first and then turn it off. And hit the volume up key, then the volume down key, and press and hold the side button until you've got this cable and computer icon on your iPhone screen. If you're using other kinds of iPhone, just select your device from here, and then follow the on-screen instructions to turn on the recovery mode on your iPhone. Alright, once your device is on its recovery mode, your computer will recognize it. So here, we're gonna confirm the device information, and go ahead, click the start. Then you should see a loading bar right here. It's downloading the firmware package to unlock your iPhone. So you may need to wait for a couple of minutes here. When it's done, a message box jumps out. Make sure you read this carefully before you start the unlocking process. As you can see, this is gonna remove the lock screen passcode and erase all your data. And your iPhone will have the latest iOS installed after the process. All right, so now I'm going to follow the instruction here, enter 0000 in the box and click the unlock button. Okay, now, it's unlocking your iOS device. So give it a while to complete its task. When you see 100% here, your iPhone will reboot. No more iPhone unavailable or security lockout alert on your iPhone screen. You can now get into your iPhone and set it up. Well, as we've mentioned the recovery mode, we can also use the iTunes or Finder to reset your locked iPhone by putting your device into recovery mode. That is, we run the iTunes or Finder on the computer first. If your computer is running Windows or Mac OS 10.14 and the earlier, open iTunes. If it's Mac OS 10.15 and later, run Finder. All right, then, for your iPhone, we just turn it off and connect it to your computer while holding the side button. Don't let it go until you got this recovery mode screen on your iPhone. And here, the iTunes or Finder reads your device now. You can either to update or restore it. To reset your iPhone, here select Restore option. And confirm that you'd like to restore your iOS device. Okay. Here it may take some time to factory reset your unavailable iPhone. Wait patiently. When it all done, you'll see your iPhone restart, and you can regain the access and use it after the setup. Alright, that's the four quick ways you can use to unlock your unavailable iPhone when you forgot the screen passcode. Hope this video helped, and if you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share it with anyone who may need this. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.